here we are continuing on from part one. Um, so I've inserted my uh, my sample XML here and chose Excel, a custom tab. And so you can see that there is code here that formats the, the tab, the, the group, the button. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of two of the buttons because you can see it's the samples put in three buttons here. So you can see custom button custom button one, custom button two, custom button three. So I'm going to get rid of custom button two and three because I only oh, I only need one button to run my macro. Okay. And so here I'm going to label this um, run run macro. Okay, size large. Um, on action, here I'm going to put in my macro name. So let's go check out what our macro name is. You can find it here, Visual Basic. My macro name is modify. So I'm going to put in modify there. modify. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to the image MSO. Um, you can look this up online. The image, just look up image MSO gallery and it'll show you the references. And here I'm going to put in macro play because that's going to give me a little triangle. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is, oh, here's another label I'm going to I'm going to label this run macro too. Um, and here I'm going to validate my thing here. Okay. And so it's going to come up with an error and it wants you to change the date here to 2006.01. So I'm just going to do that over here, 2006.01, and then validate again. And you can see it says custom UI XML is well formed. Okay. And then the next step in the next video, part three.